Hispano Stadium, San Luis Obispo, California, reigning FCS champion Eastern Washington in town to face future Big Sky Conference foe Cal Poly. The Eagles get things started, first quarter. Bo Levi Mitchell pitches out to Jordan Talley. 12 yards on the touchdown run, seven to nothing Eastern Washington. Later in the first, the Eagles strike again. Mitchell lets one fly off his back foot. Quincy Forte is there all alone, and he takes it to the paint for a 30-yard touchdown, 14 to nothing. The Mustangs answer. Second quarter, first and 10 at the Eastern Washington 36. Jake Romanelli charges through the line, swatting away defenders. Romanelli rumbles down to the one yard line. He would later score to make it 14 to seven. Cal Poly headed to the locker room down 21-14. Third quarter, Eastern Washington resumes its aerial assault. Third and five at the 39, Bo Levi Mitchell fires downfield for his brother Corey Mitchell, and he brings it down inside the five yard line. Then from the shotgun, Bo Levi Mitchell hits Ashton Clark with a two-yard touchdown strike, 28-14 Eastern Washington. The Mustang offense would come alive. Later in the third, from the three, Andre Bratis gets it out to Devontae Williams. He dashes to the paint untouched. The Mustangs back within seven, down 28-21. End of the third quarter, Cal Poly back on the doorstep. Andre Bratis busts into the end zone from a yard out. The Mustangs tie the game at 28. Then, after a Greg Francis interception, with just over five minutes left in the fourth, the Mustangs take to the air. Andre Bratis fires to the end zone for Willie Tucker. He makes a diving catch, 18 yards, a 21-0 run for Cal Poly. The Mustangs jump in front, 35-28. Eastern Washington, not done yet. Under two minutes to play from the Cal Poly 22. Mitchell rifles the ball to the goal line. Corey Mitchell hauls it in and the game went into overtime tied at 35. The teams traded field goals in the first overtime and in the second extra frame on fourth and goal from the one, Andre Bratis fights his way over the goal line. A James Langford extra point made it 45-38 Mustangs. Eastern Washington would match that. On their second overtime possession, Mitchell goes to Greg Hurd on the reverse. Hurd comes up throwing. Nicholas Edwards is open at the five and he reaches for the pylon. Cal Poly and Eastern Washington headed to triple overtime tied at 45. The Eagles start things off on the alternating possession. First play from the 25, Bo Levi Mitchell with a play action pass to the goal line. It's tipped by Nico Molino right into the arms of Greg Hurd. Bo Levi Mitchell would add a mandatory two point conversion and the game came down to this. After scoring a touchdown on its third overtime possession, the Mustangs needed to convert their mandatory two-point try, but Broaddus' pass to David Marr is knocked away by Alden Gibbs. Eastern Washington survives. The Eagles outlast Cal Poly in triple overtime, 53-51. They're such a great team, and not only that, they're such a potent offense. Uh, they have a great quarterback at the helm that knows how to run the ball, and uh, you know, pass it when he has to. You know, he had two great passing touchdowns. The resilience, the heart on this team is just amazing, and it, it starts from the top. It starts with the coaches, and it comes down to the players, and that's that's who we get it from. It's just guys that have the will to win. This offense is greedy. We want to go out there and uh, get every point we can, every yard we can, and we're able to do it tonight.